Hello. Welcome to the next in the series of review clips designed to assist you with your Biology 3rd Hill 1 public exam. In this clip, we'll be examining the cell cycle beginner examination of reproduction. By definition, the cell cycle is a continuous series of cell growths and divisions for a cell. All cells go through a cell cycle of some sort. The cell cycle consists of two distinct stages, that being a growth phase and a division phase. The cell cycle can be represented by the following pi diagram. As you can clearly see, a significant portion is contained in what we term to be interphase. Most of the cell cycle, a cell is spending in interphase. Interphase, the growth phase, consists of three distinct parts, G1, G2, and a third, which we entitle S. There's also a portion of the cell cycle which represents cell division. This phase is known as mitosis. And while it certainly is a very integral part of the cell cycle in terms of time or amount of time spent in it, it actually represents a very small component of the overall cell cycle. The growth phase, which consists of G1, S, and G2, is actually the longest part of the cell cycle, and it's also known as interphase. During the first segment, G1, here the cell undergoes rapid growth and normal metabolic activities, and the cell will actually spend most of its time in this phase. During the S phase, the cell replicates, duplicates its DNA, its chromosomes, and during G2, the centrioles organelles replicate in preparation for cell division. This constitutes interphase. And while interphase is certainly part of the cell cycle, it is not to be considered part of meiosis or mitosis. The division phase is the shortest part of the cell cycle. During this stage, the cell divides into two new cells, and it can be broken up into two distinct sections. The first of these is mitosis, and during mitosis, the nucleus divides. The second stage is cytokinesis. During cytokinesis, the cytoplasm divides. In terms of the length of the cell cycle, this is something that does indeed vary, depending on the type of cell and its environment. Some cell cycles last for a few hours, others a number of years. By way of example, the cells in your stomach lining, the epithelial tissue in your mouth, these cells, they divide approximately every two days. Whereas brain cells, on the other hand, they have a much longer cell cycle. This can last up to 50 years. By way of example of questions you may very well like to see yourself facing in June, I present the following. The first of these reads, in which phase of the cell cycle does DNA replication occur? Remember that in G1, you have the growth of the cell. In G2, you have the replication of organelles, specifically the centrioles. M is mitosis. That is the actual division of the cell. The answer to this question is D, S, remember, during the S phase or synthesis phase, this is when the DNA itself replicates. Another question, as presented on the past poll examination, required you analyze a diagram, and you're asked specifically in which stage of the cell cycle does anaphase occur? Anaphase, you recall, as was presented to you in class, is one of the phases of mitosis. The answer, then, would be C, M, mitosis. 
thank you very much for your time and your patience. I hope you found this learning clip